I'm feeling very dark from Back to the Future today. Hello, my name is Grace Helbig. If you did not know, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm really proud of you for being here. We're going to have a really fun time together. This isn't facetious. This is my genuine, authentic, emotional outpouring of love and pride for you. Now, you probably can tell by the title of this video what this video is about. It is how I edit my Instagram photos. I have to say this is one of my most highly requested video requests ever. You guys ask me about this all the time. If you go to my Instagram, you probably you get why. This is so highly requested, it's kind of bizarre. People write me comments, emails, song parodies, requesting this video. Sometimes I walk by strangers on the street and they don't say anything out loud, but I can see in their eyes that they really want for me to make this video. Unborn babies send a lot of like um, sonar signals to me requesting this video. I had a really spiritual experience over the weekend in which Jesus Christ actually asked me about how I edit my Instagram photos. Lots of prison inmates send me mail asking for this video. Dream, the girl band started by P. Diddy, actually had a reunion concert recently and in the concert they requested that I make this video. My accountant mentioned it. So you know just a lot. So I thought finally I will make this video for you. Here is how I edit my Instagram photos. The first thing you have to do to edit an Instagram photo is oh my god shut up dog. It's take an Instagram photo. So I just do some general lady shut up goose. Some general lady prep and then I try and find a natural oh my god goose. A natural light source so that I can really work the angles. Goose my god work those angles. From there, I edit my photos in an app called Visco Cam because one time a teenager told me if I wasn't using Visco Cam, I was an idiot and it truly made me feel insecure. Your words have weight, people, so now I use Visco Cam, but Visco Cam has so many options for retouching and recoloring your photos that it makes me extra insecure because I don't know what colors look cool and what colors make my life more interesting than I actually am on a human level. Like Connor, Granta, and Gen X Pen use a lot of like blue tones and that looks really cool. Like they're indie artists, even though they're not musicians and I feel like I should be doing something like that, but then I think that's trying to Hard. and so usually these thoughts spiral into some sort of quarter-life crisis in which I end up standing in my backyard and wondering what actually is color. Then I usually sit in this chair that I never sit in my backyard so I can just validate the purchase. Then I like to go inside and have a deep and rich conversation with my dog about color because she's colorblind. And then sometimes I walk around and I wonder about the things that actually don't have the opportunity to have Instagram in the first place and I think about how lucky I am and how grateful I am for the opportunities to have these extra insecurities that a lot of other things don't have. And then I quickly give my neighbors the middle finger. And then I walk by these prints I have in my home that I got from the internet and I think, wow, these are such great photos, why don't I just take photos of these photos and use them as my own photos and post them to the internet? And then I think that's so stupid. No one does that on the internet. No one takes any photos or phrases that they don't actually own and then use it for... And then I have business meetings. And then I gain some inspiration by sitting back and watching some of my favorite YouTube videos while enjoying a hearty and healthful breakfast. And then I do some daily affirmations. <coughs> At this point, I'm usually bursting over with inspiration and I'm able to choose the perfect filter for that photo we took earlier. From there, I upload it to my Instagram feeling cool, confident, and others. Well, there you go. I hope that this gave you some helpful tips on editing your Instagram photos and a little more insight into my creative process. You can see why I don't post as often as I should on Instagram. It takes a long time to edit a good photo. But talking about Instagram photos is a really great segue for me to mention this. Hi. <laughs> Look, I love Instagram and as much as I make fun of people that post their food photos on Instagram, I secretly want to be able to post my food photos on Instagram, but I know that there will be judgment because people like me exist in the world. I'm working on my judgment, you guys. I'm working on it, I swear. Fear no more, those of you that might have also been afraid to post food photos on Instagram. Dish is here. Dish is a food photo app that has been co-founded by myself, Hannah Hart, Mamrie Hart, and Ingrid Nelson. And we are so excited to be finally launching this thing. You might have seen us posting on it in the last few weeks. It's so much fun. D-Y-S-H. You can download it in the App Store. It's available for Android and iPhone. Please go check it out. You can post photos of your food. You can rate it. You can critique it. You can follow others that post photos of their food. It's basically a non-judgmental food community for the amateur and professional foodie alike. I am not a foodie and that world intimidates me so much, which is why I am so excited to be presenting the Dish community to you, a community of food lovers that will not intimidate you at all. Just check out my profile. Pretty much like someone let a third grader 
rate food. I really like Dish a lot and I'm really proud of myself and Hannah and Mamrie and Ingrid for co-founding this and making it happen and now it's here for you and for us. So I hope that you guys go check it out if you want to. And follow me on Dish because I'm, I'm there posting all sorts of weird and wonderful things. That's it. I don't know. Did you like Dish video? I went too far. I know I did. I'm sorry. <coughs> Nothing? No, God bless you. I forgot you're an atheist.